Hey guys, uh, today, uh, as earlier, we had some espresso, now we have some filter coffee. And specifically the Makala honey. Um, as you can guess, Makala is a growing region in Honduras. And honey stands, uh, what should be else? The process it's made. Uh, so, Makala honey, what's it about? A really nice, clean filter. Uh, very, actually quite typical Honduran uh, profile. Um, yeah, it's very sort of slightly nutty, lots of milk chocolate, um, really good stuff. And I can't get open the packet. <laughs> ah, damn it, here we go. Uh, so I guess, yeah, got to be some troubleshooting in there as well. Um, so how do we prepare this coffee? Uh, we're going to be taking 18 grams. Um, we'll take a little bit more just for safe measure in case something gets lost in the grinding. Uh, oh close that up for you so uh, for hand filter v60 we're going to be using yeah medium fine grind uh, in case you don't have a setup like this at home with slurp you can also order your coffee pre-ground uh, for French press or hand filter, uh, whatever takes you fancy. So, here we are, guys. Pre wetting, not unimportant for you at home, making your coffee, getting the filter up to temperature. Also, uh, the glass in which you'll be brewing the coffee. So, get that out of the way. And so, what are we going to do? 18 grams, how do we brew? Um, to be honest, I've watched so many brewing videos and so many different uh, methods on how to brew your coffee. Uh, for me, I found the best way to approach most coffees is uh, something Scott Rao did. Uh, just a continuous pour. Uh, start with pre-wetting the grinds a little bit. You know, just 18 grams, and I'm gonna pre-wet with 45 grams. Uh, a slight shake. I don't believe going in there with a spoon or anything helps that much. Mm, just shake it a little bit. Uh, works wonders for me. Oh, I can already get the aromas. So, what to expect uh, with this coffee? Uh, as I said earlier, sort of milk chocolatey, lightly nutty. We have some really nice hints of strawberry, but also um, some really nice sort of orange zesty notes in the background, sort of coming down really easy. It's a very soft cup, so that's why it's in the soft and rich subscription. Um, but nonetheless, sort of uh, for its typical Honduran process uh, or um, uh, flavor profile, let's say, uh, it's really sort of, yeah, quite sweet. Uh, it's a medium roast, nothing sort of pretentious or crazy about it. It's a really well produced um, uh, honey by the Comsa Cooperative. Uh, we sourced this coffee uh, from Quixote Coffee in Hamburg. Uh, they're really nice guys, they do loads of direct import. Um, it's really, really good to be working with them. Um, the Comsa is one of the longest standing cooperatives in Honduras. Uh, it has over 800 members now. Uh, it's actually, uh, they're organically certified. Uh, this coffee is as well, we aren't. So I guess I can't call it organic. Uh, but hey, we take that with a pinch of salt. Uh, for the brew, uh, sort of, I went up to 300 mils for 18 grams uh, within a minute 10 continuous pour and then just left it for a second gave it a quick stir as to get the sediment nice and down so we don't want any grounds on the side and just from time to time give it a little bit of a stir and uh, see how the coffee comes you can see it's kind of like uh, it's got a hints of red in there it's a fairly light coffee in the sense of how it extracts uh, extraction time with this with the filter um, you can do anything from 2.30 to 4 minutes. Don't be afraid. 
uh, to go a little bit finer with the coffee, uh, just to make it that little bit more sweet. Uh, I find that actually really enjoyable. Um, so I can, while we wait, preheat these cups as well. In general, as we roast on a loring, uh, I said in the other video before, uh, we sort of get really much cleaner profiles, flavor-wise, than you might get uh, with a classic drum roaster. Not saying that one or the other is better. We've just decided that for our coffees and our style of roasting, uh, the loring actually works best. So, uh, let's see how this one turned out. It's a really fresh roast. So, you know, we're here sort of from the roast. Um, yeah, sort of coffee should be ready now. Last drips coming out, 3.23, I think it's a good time. Not too quick of an extraction. So, let's see what we have. Uh, just one for you, one for me, so. Makala honey, really nice, soft and rich filter coffee. Uh, the aroma is really nice, it's really subtle. We've got a little bit of some grapey notes, sort of milk chocolate, hazelnuts. Uh, you can also do this really well in the French press. I find in the French press you get uh, more nuts. And with this, mm, still a bit hot. Oh, yeah, but it's nice, very typical Honduran flavor profile. Uh, sort of milk chocolatey, it has a lot of body, very sweet. And in the aftertaste, that's really nice. You get this subtle hints of raspberry, orange, really, really quite nice. So, <clears throat> brilliant. Guys, um, we'll be looking forward to sending you this coffee in week seven and eight. As I said, Makala Honey, Honduras with Slurp. Uh, it's a really, really good coffee. Uh, not because it's roasted by me. I just think sort of, I'm only the guy that makes uh, sort of showcases what the producer has done. And in this case, uh, the guys and girls from the Comsa have done a really great job. Uh, so from here, I'd like to say goodbye. Uh, hopefully to see you later on in the year, uh, maybe with some more funky summer coffees. Let's have a look. Bye bye.